Randy Vance. I'm near Sandusky, Ohio on Lake Erie. I'm on a brand new boat from Regal. This is called the 38 SAV. Now they introduced it two years ago. Finally, I'm getting aboard it. SAV stands for Sports Activity Vessel. Now this is not a fishing boat. It's not a cruising boat. It's not a diving boat, but it can do all of those. And I'm going to show you how when I walk you through it right now. Let's start here at the helm. Now at first glance, you might want to call it a center console, but it's not. True, the helm is centered, and the captain has companion seats on either side. All his companions can sit with him, protected behind this all-glass windshield. The superstructure overhead is all metal. It makes the hard top extremely rugged, and you can slide the sunroof back quickly and easily to give you an open-air feeling. Now, if you look at the dashboard, you'll see that the Garmin's are set flush with the glass face. That's a really nice look, and it's also extremely durable. Over here is the flush mounted fusion. Down below, you've got a wood grain dashboard with all your switches in it. It's a great look altogether. Our boat here is equipped with autopilot and joystick steering. I like the tilt wheel. It's stainless steel, but it's got rubber inserts that give it a really good traction feel on your hands. Now there's a lot going on with these helm seats that bears explanation. Obviously you've got bucket seats, they've all got fold down armrests, and they've all got flip up bolsters. They adjust fore and aft electrically so that everybody can get the ideal leg room to reach the footrest below the helm. The outside seats will swivel aft so they can face the summer galley. All the seats fold down and that gives you a refreshment table on the back. Once that's done, you have plenty of space to walk through the front or to walk between the seats facing aft and the galley. Now Regal calls this the refreshment island. You've got a grill on the top. You've got a sink over here. I like these struts. They hold those doors up. You've got a waste basket on the port side. Then you've got a live well over here, but to be honest with you, it's going to be a great place to fill it up with ice and drinks and you can see what's in there from the side glass. Now in the center, you've got a set of drawers here. On the left, you've got a refrigerator, and on the right, you could have a refrigerator or a freezer. That's your choice. Underneath the bucket seats, you've got a Yeti cooler in the center and storage compartments on either side. Now, the cockpit of the boat is the area that's most convertible, and that makes it possible to match the activity that you value the most. If you're going to fish, we've already got fish boxes in the floor that pump overboard. There's a couple of rod holders here, but you're probably going to add another one on the gunnels and more on the transom. There's also an option for outriggers. Our test boat had an optional rocket launcher on the hardtop, and of course we've got the live well on board. Also for the fishermen, you'll find under the gunnels rod hangers. You can also use them for boat hooks or washing brushes. Now if your idea of fun is just hanging out on the hook, there's a lily pad holder with a lily pad that comes for the transom. You can also get SUP racks so that you can take your paddle boards with you. Now for seating and hanging out, this seat here folds right down, giving you a nice lounge facing the mezzanine seating. When you're fighting fish, you're gonna fold it up and you've got a wide open cockpit. Now I'm standing on the lazarette. This is an enormous compartment that's easily accessible. When you touch this electric switch and raise up this transom lounge seat to give you access to the compartment. Inside, you'll find access to the generator, the sea keeper, batteries, battery switches, the fuse panel, and towards the transom, you'll find the water heater, sea strainers, and fuel filters. One thing I like about this boat is there are five very convenient boarding options. You've got this door here in the port side, a matching door on the starboard side. You've got two transom doors on either end of the extra large swim platform. There's an excellent boarding point at midships on the starboard side. Step right off the dock onto this non-skid platform and down three stairs to the sole. Now, regardless of what your activity is, it's gonna be easy to clean up when you're done. You've got a standard fresh water wash down on the starboard side and an option for putting a raw water wash down on the port side. Now, I like this teak step here, both for its looks and the traction. Gets you up onto this extra ride walkway and you've got these bolsters here to protect you against bumps as the boat rocks. Gives you great access to the bow seating and I wanna show you that right now. Now for day cruising activities, this is probably going to be my favorite seating area. It's the first class seats. 
You've got extremely large, wide bunks here. Again, you've got regal ergonomics going on that make them extremely comfortable for everybody on board. Cup holders are tucked under the gunnels and there's stainless steel grab rails as well. On either side of the forward facing seats, there are fold down armrests with cup holders. You can fill in half the center seat area with a cushion that makes it a large sun pad and there's a bow table available as well. Now there's easy access to the cabin below. Now this is a really comfortable couch for just hanging out, but touch this button and it folds into this V berth. You've got sleeping for two. Now in the midship, you've got another double berth there. You can take the filler cushions out and you've got a lounge with a smaller berth. Now the 38 SAV is equipped with a really nicely appointed head compartment. You walk straight into a porcelain basin. Forward of that is a porcelain flushing toilet. Aft of that is a walk-in stand-up shower. You've also got a microwave down below and inside this center cabinet is access to all the systems switching on board. Now everybody boats for a different reason and that's why the 38 SAV is not over focused on any one. For me, I like to fish and I like to dive. Sometimes I just like to swim and hang out or go on a sunset cruise or maybe just drop the hook and spend the night on the water. The 38 SAV is good for all of those and even if all you want to do is watch TV, there's an optional drop down TV for that. For all those reasons, the 38 SAV may be my favorite Regal. I'm Randy Vance on the 38 SAV.